Today we're going to be looking at the 2018 December Gold Problem 1 Fine Dining. So in this question, the cows in Farmer John's Farms are each going to be on one of the N-1 pastures in Farmer John's Farm. And so in some of these pastures, there are going to be bales of hay, each with a yumminess value. And so for every cow, what we want to know is we want to know whether or not it's worth it for a cow to go and eat a bale of hay. Assuming that it is worth it, if the yumminess value of that hay bale is greater than the amount of extra time that the cow would need in order to go eat there. And so we want to output for every cow if they can eat a bale or not. So let's go look at the algorithm for this question. So if you look at this question, you can most likely guess that it's probably going to become a graph question because of the connections between the different pastures. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to create a graph with the pastures as to the nodes and then the edges between them, the edges. And so what we're going to do is we're going to implement the Dijkstra's algorithm. More specifically, we're going to run the Dijkstra's algorithm twice. And the reason we're going to do it twice is because of hay bales. And if you think about it, what the problem is basically asking you is, if you go out of your way to go eat a hay bale with yumminess value x, and your original distance time was y, then what they're asking is, if you go on a path that includes this hay bale, then your total distance, not including eating the hay bale, has to be y minus x, because you can have a total amount of allotted yumminess time of x. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to run the program twice. And so the first time is just going to be a regular dextrose, and we're going to start from 4, or the nth node, because all other nodes are going to need the distance to that node, and so the first time we run it, what we're going to do is we're going to start from 4, or the nth node, because all other nodes are going to need to reach the nth node. So we're going to find the distance from all other nodes to the nth node, and we're going to run a dextrose. So from 4 up here is going to be 10, 4 here is going to be 3, and then here is going to be 2. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run it again, but making sure that we use a hay bale in our distance. And so in order to make sure we use a hay bale in our dextrose, what we're actually going to do is we're going to create another node. And this is going to be the n plus 1th node. So in this case, this is going to be node 5. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to create this node, and we're going to start running the dextrose from this node. And in order to make sure that we use a hay bale throughout our distances, for this node, all of the edges are going to be negative weights. And these negative weights are going to be two nodes or pastures with hay bales. So in this case, we only have one node or one pasture with a hay bale. So this is only going to have one connection here. And the length of this or the value of this edge, the weight of the edge, is actually going to be negative. And it's going to be the distance that it takes from this current pasture that has a hay bale to the nth node. So in this case, it's going to be the this distance here, and then subtracting the yumminess value of the bale. So in this case, it's going to be 3 minus 7, which is going to be negative 4. And so what this is going to do is, since we're starting from 5 here, or an n plus 1th node, all of our distances are going to end up going here. So this 4 is no longer relevant unless we want to use a path here and then go here. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to end here. And so all of the edges connecting this n plus 1th node to everything else is going to be a hay bale, which means that no matter what path you take, if you reach this node here, you have to go through a pasture with a hay bale. In this way, we're going to calculate the distance of the length that it takes in order to reach the ending node, no longer this one, but actually this one, assuming we do have to use one hay bale. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to calculate the second distances. And again, the reason this is going to work here is because the total amount of distance that our second distance, so we're going to have our first distance, which is going to be just without this, it's going to be just a normal dextrose, and then we're going to have our second distance, and with the second distance, it's going to start here, and the total amount of distance for our second one is going to be, at most, 
y minus x, where y is going to be the original distance and x is going to be the yumminess value of the hay bale, in order for it to be justifiable in order to eat a hay bale. So what we're going to do at the very end, after we calculate our second distance, is we're going to do distance 2 minus distance 1. And if these two values, well actually we're going to compare the two values, and if this value is greater than or equal to this one, then we're going to put a 0, which means that it is not able to eat a hay bale. And if this distance is less than or equal to this one, then we're going to put a 1. And so what we're basically going to do is we're going to run a second identical dextrose. I'm going to use a priority queue in my code with a function so the code is the exact same. And what we're going to do is we're going to start here. We're going to run along the edges that it has connected with hay bales. And we're going to calculate our new distances. We're going to start from here. And we're going to go here. And our new distance here is going to be negative 4. And then down here, it's going to be 1. We don't need this one, so we're going to go up here. It, this is going to be negative 4. Goes down to 3, so it's negative 1. Up here is going to be 9. And then we're going to compare these distances. In this one, it's n 9 is less than or equal to 10, so it works. Negative 4 is less than or equal to 3, so it works. And 1 is less than or equal to 2, so it works. So in this way, we're going to connect it all to a new separate node. And with this node, we're just going to no longer acknowledge this one as the endpoint. It's just another node. And we're going to have negative weights where we can only travel through one hay bale, one negative weight, because we can only travel from one out here. And that way we won't have the problem of multiple hay bales. In our second distance, it's going to automatically assume that we will use a hay bale. We'll compare the distances, and if it's worth it, then we will return a 1. So let's go look at the code for this question. I've set up the program a bit here, and the first thing we're going to do is read in the input. And we're going to create an adjacency list, we're going to create the weights, and then I'm going to read in the bales, and have a list called bales, which is going to store the index and then the two values. And the next thing we're going to do is just run a normal dextrose. And because we want to get the distance from all of the nodes or pastures to the nth pasture, we're going to start our dextrose from pasture n. And so for our dextrose, it's going to be a very textbook explanation. I'm going to use a priority queue, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to have a priority queue, a visited. I'm going to push back distance 0 and my starting node. So over here, I have the starting node and my distance. And we're going to keep looping through while there are still nodes left in our priority queue. So while there are still pastures. And so we're going to have our cost here and our node here. And we're going to loop through all of the other pastures adjacent to our current node. And once we loop through, we're going to calculate the edge weight by getting the weights node and then the child. And then we're going to check whether or not this distance is less than the previous distance of the child. And if this is a more ideal distance, so if this is a smaller distance, we're going to update our distance and we're going to push it back into the priority queue. We're not going to return anything because over here we're just going to use the value of this distance. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually use the n plus 1th node. And what we're going to do to implement that is we're going to create a new distance array. And this is going to be called new nd. And over here, we're just going to loop through the k bales. And for each one of the pastures with a bale, what we're going to do is we're going to push back the node itself. And we're actually going to update weights. And so we're going to create our n plus 1 node. And with this node, what we're going to do is it's only going to have edges with bales with, sorry, with pastures with bales. And we're going to update this by making it the entire distance of the bales to the nth node. So it's just going to be that first distance, subtracting the bales yumminess value. And this is just going to be the amount of distance that it needs to take. And then we're going to update our adjacency list. 
So adjacency n plus 1 is equal to nu and d. And we're going to basically have our new distance. It's going to be completely new. And we're going to run Dijkstra's again, this time starting with the n plus 1th node. And at the very end here, we're just going to basically loop through all of the cows. And for each cow, we're going to check whether or not the new distance was greater than the original distance. And if it was greater, then that means that the yumminess value is not, in fact, big enough in order for us to go eat a bale. And in that case, we're going to output 0. And if not, we're going to assume the yumminess value was good enough in order for this cow to eat a bale. So we're going to output 1. And that's the end of our program.